Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who happens across this video, because this is another food recall. Can you believe it? I know now where Tessa is getting some of this information. She's probably subscribed to this, and you can subscribe to it also in case I, I miss it. You know, I may accidentally delete an email and miss it. All right, it is still Tuesday, September 22nd, and it's 717. Ooh, what a number, 717. That's Harpazzo, I believe. Anyway, not that I'm saying we're being raptured tonight. I just said that's a good number. Okay, so here's what's being said now. At the very, When I looked at this earlier, uh, I haven't gotten on till now because I was waiting for a phone call. And then we're, we're done talking, so now I can come on. And now there's a new food at the top of the list. It's called, um, well, the title is Inconsistent Labeling Complicates Clam Recall Marine Toxin Found. All right, this is Food Safety News. And I'll put the link. It's just www.foodsafetynews.com slash food dash recalls slash. Okay, so if you want to subscribe to them and you can't see the links, that's what you um, go to. www.foodsafetynews, all one you know, spell it out like any other website, all small letters, dot com slash food dash recalls slash. Okay. See, I don't know if that's called a forward slash or backward slash, but I think it's called a backslash. Anyway, moving on. This was written by Marler... Clark, or was sponsored by Marler Clark, breaking news for everyone's consumption. Okay, and then there's a link right there to subscribe to Food Recalls. Okay, government tests. Okay, this is by the news desk on September 22nd, so this is real recent. Government tests spurred a recall of Manila clams because of contamination with a marine biotoxin that causes <clears throat> the potentially deadly paralytic shellfish poisoning. Potentially deadly? Okay, if any of you have recently purchased any clams, let's keep reading. Evergreen International Foodstuffs, LTD, reports distributing the clams to retailers in Ontario. It says, keep reading. All right, let's see here. And British Columbia, according to to a recall notice from the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, mismatched branding may be complicating the recall efforts, as well as consumers' ability to identify the recalled shellfish. And that's a link you can click on. These... Manila clams may also have been sold in bulk or in smaller packages with or without a label and may not bear the same brand, product name, or code as described below, according to the recall notice. Well, right there, I would just throw it whatever clams I bought out. If they, they can't even tell you for sure what label they put on it. Check to see if you have the recalled product in your home. 
recalled products should be thrown out or returned to the store where they were purchased. That's a quote. As of the posting of the recall notice, no illnesses had been confirmed in relation to the recalled products. This recall was triggered by Canadian Food Inspection Agency test results. The CFIA is conducting a food safety investigation which may lead to the recall of other products. If other high-risk products are recalled, the CFIA will notify the public. And then it talks about marine toxins. Okay, it's really hard for me to read right now, so I'm going to back, go back and go down. Okay, the September 12th, 2020 issue of Food Safety News incorrectly reported that Williams Foods taco seasoning containing cumin seeds or however you pronounce that supplied by Mincing Spice Company was subject to a current recall. In fact, this recall, oh boy, another, in fact, this recall occurred in July 2019. Product subject to the recall was removed from the marketplace and the recall was terminated by the FDA in 2019. Okay, so they were clarifying that. Now, this is the one I saw first. Human salmonella illnesses associated with expanded sprout recall. I'm like, what's up with all the salmonella illnesses? I mean, how many things have I reported on that were said to be in infected, whatever, with salmonella? Onions. I can't remember them all. This is by News Desk on September 20th, 2020. A Canadian Food Inspection Agency, CFIA, food safety warning issued on August 11th, 2020 has been updated to include additional product information. The additional information was identified during the CFIA food safety investigation. Sun sprout natural. I never bought sprouts ever. Let's see, where was it? Sun sprout natural foods is recalling sprouts alive brand and sun sprout brand micro greens alfalfa from the marketplace due to possible salmonella contamination, according to the CFIA. Food safety investigation. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Salmonella. Due to possible salmonella contamination. Okay, period. According to the CFIA, consumers should not consume and retailers, restaurants, and institutions should not sell or use the recalled products described below. Sprouts Alive. It's microgreens alfalfa. 100 gram size. It says all best before dates to and including best by October 13. All right, the next one, the, there's a UPC code here. Hold on. Zero space 69022 space 
10030 space 3. Okay, that's the UPC code. The next one is Sunsprout. And the product is Microgreens Alfalfa. 100 grams in a package. The number on this one is 0 space 57621 space 13511 space 6. All best before dates up to and including best by October 13th. Okay, so they're both up to uh, This just makes me wonder. And and then then they tell you nobody's gotten sick. I don't know what to think. All right, I'm going to put the link like I told you the one I called out already and put it in the description because reading is that's hard. Okay. So I'm going to end this here, and I will talk to you later.